Here, let us see how to factorize the polynomials by splitting the middle term. So in this case, let us specifically concentrate on quadratic polynomials. Basically, a quadratic polynomial is written as, or its general form is ax squared plus bx plus c. So to factorize a polynomial of this form, all we need to do is find the two numbers. Let us say those two numbers are p and q. Find p and q such that pq equals ac, that is a into c, and p plus q equals b, that is this b. So once we find p and q, and if pq is equal to ac and p plus q is equal to b, then we can easily factorize ax square plus bx plus c. Let us look at a problem. Let us factorize 12x square minus 7x plus 1. So now we need two numbers pq such that it is equal to a into c that is 12 into 1. So that is 12. So indirectly it is nothing but we need to find the factors of 12. So let us find it here. The factors of 12 can be 2, 6 times is 12, 2, 3 times is 6, and 3, 1 time is 3. So 2, 2, 3 are the factors of 12. But we have to arrange them in such a way that P into Q gives us 12. So 2 into 2 gives us 4, and 3, now 4 into 3 gives us 12. So we found PQ which gives us 12. But the same PQ when added also should give us minus 7. So will it give us, let us see, so 4 plus 3 is 7. Yes, it does, but we need a negative 7. So very simple, all we need to do is change the signs. Minus 4 minus 3 equals minus 7. Now what about the multiplication? Yeah, minus 4 into minus 3 is also plus 12. So no problems about PQ and P plus Q as well. So we have got PQ equals 12 and P plus Q equals minus 7. So all we need to do now is write 12x squared and write minus 7x in terms of P and Q. That is minus 4x minus 3x and write plus 1 as it is. So now group these two and these two and take out the terms that are common. So here the common term is 4x. So 4x into 3x gives us 12x square into 1 gives us 4x or into minus 1 gives us minus 4x. So here the common term seems like only 1. So minus 1 into 3x will give us minus 3x and minus 1 into minus 1 will give us plus 1. So Therefore, we've got further two terms now. Now we need to find another term which is common in these two terms, which is nothing but 3x minus 1 is common here. So taking out 3x minus 1, we are left with 4x here and minus 1 here. So 3x minus 1 into 4x minus 1 are the factors of 12x squared minus 7x plus 1. This is how we find the factors by splitting the middle term. Let us quickly do another problem, which is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Now here again we have a as 2 and c as 3 and b as 7. a c gives us 6 and b gives us 7. So we need to find two numbers that is p and q such that pq equals 6 and p plus q equals 7. So let us see how we do that. So let us factorize 6 here. 2, 3 times is 6 
and 3 one time is 3. So we have 2, 3, 1 as the factors of 6. So what we can do is we can group 2 and 3 which gives us 2 into 3 is 6 and we have 1 here. So 6 into 1 gives us 6. So therefore the problem of AC is solved. That is we can write P as 6 and Q as 1 and therefore we get 6. Now we need P plus Q as 7. So yeah 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have found PQ such that PQ is equal to 6 and P plus Q is equal to 7. All we have to do now is write 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 in a different form that is 2x squared plus 6x plus 1x. So this is what is splitting the middle term. I'm taking the 7x and splitting it into 6x and 1x plus 3. Now grouping these two terms, I take out 2x as a common and 2x into x gives us 2x squared plus 2x into 3 gives us 6x. Now here the common is 1. So 1 into x gives us 1x, 1 into 3 gives us 3. So considering these two terms now or these two groups, we can take out x plus 3 as common. If you take out x plus 3, all that is left in the first term is 2x and all that is left in the second term is just 1. So we can say that x plus 3 and 2x plus 1 are the factors of 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So therefore, we successfully factorized a quadratic polynomial 2x squared plus 7x plus 3.